Hi, and welcome to another video from the collection of website build guides and video tutorials. In this short video, you will learn how to edit the header and footer of your website using Elementor Header and Footer Builder. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to add, remove, and rearrange elements within the header and footer on your website, as well as edit those elements and make them relevant to the content of your website. Obviously, for this, you will need Elementor and Elementor Header and Footer Builder plugins installed on your WordPress. So, let's learn how to edit header and footer using Elementor Header and Footer Builder. And to do that, click on Customize, Header Builder. This will bring up the additional menu on the bottom of the screen in which we will be able to customize the header of our website. The header split into three sections. You can rearrange already available content within those sections. Add new elements to your website header. or delete elements completely, if no longer required. You can add your own logo, if you have one. Choose Site Identity and Logo. Click Change Logo. Follow the path to where your logo is saved on your computer. Click Open. This will add your logo to your media library. Click select. Crop image to the desired size. Click crop image. And this will add your logo to the website header. Make sure you resize it. To match your website layout and formatting. Choose different devices on the bottom of the page and align the width of the logo to make sure it will display correctly on the mobile devices. You can hide logo on mobile devices completely. Or remove logo completely and display site title and site tagline instead. If you add the element to your website header, and would like to customize that element, hover over that particular element within the website header and click to edit this element. This will bring out an additional menu on the left hand side in which you will be able to edit every single part of that particular element. For example, this widget consists with Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. At the minute, it's just a generic additions. And if you would like to add your own Facebook, all you have to do, click on expand and add your own Facebook URL. If you would like to add more elements within your added widget, in this particular case, I've added social icons for the social platforms. Click on drop down menu and choose the platform you'd like to add. Once added, expand the section and link the URL relevant for that platform. If you would like to remove the element within the widget, 
simply click on the X button to the right hand side of the widget to delete the section. To change the design of the added widgets to your header menu, click on Design tab and here you can change the icon size, icon spacing, color of the icon, background color and margin for the icon layout. You can hide controls on the left hand corner to see how your website and header will appear on the full screen. And click publish to save changes. Now if we go to our website we will see that the header has been amended and the new social link widget were added. And if we click on any of that links it will take us to the URL we've added to link to that particular link. Next, we are going to customize the footer of our website. The process is exactly the same. Click on Customize, Footer Builder, Rearrange Add or remove widgets or elements or simply choose any elements within the footer and replace it with your own content. Once completed, click Publish to save changes. And just remember, whether it's a header or footer editing, the process is exactly the same. You either add or remove elements, reshuffle them in any particular order you would like to display them on your website, or simply edit those elements by using the customizer on the left hand side. Just spend some time and explore different options, variants and layouts. You can't really break anything and you can always revert back to its original layout. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you in my next video.